Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to part two of a day in the life of ninja orchids, especially in the summer months. Busy, busy day today. It's quite windy and I can actually hear the surf must be up because I can hear the waves from about two kilometers away. So there's a lot going on even beyond the frontier of ninja orchids. Anywho, let's go to check out the activities with the kids during the course of the afternoon and into tucking them into bed. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy what you see. We have work to do, so let's get going. All right, so a couple of hours later, I'm just coming to check and see how my orchids are doing, just the leaf wise, and they're warming up. Leaves are warming up. This is what I want to avoid, this sunburn. So once the leaves start warming up, even the catacetums, and they can take quite a bit of sun. But now that the haze is lifting, it's time to put the curtain down. Which is gonna look like this. Now, I have some back here that are still in full sun. This is my Nani Puakea Dogashima. Never bloomed for me. Growing beautifully, love it, but no blooms. So it's tucked in this corner that room has a lot more sun than the others. My Dendrobium nobili here, my no ID stays in full sun. I don't like my robling getting so much sun, so I have a little backup towel on the top here that I then put over. Not for aesthetical purposes, but because it shades my robling a bit. Epidendrum Parkinsonianum stays in the sun much longer because they can take it. And Anciella Africana, full sun because they can take it. Now my Dendrobium Variota here, the leaves are heating up so that has to come off so then we have work to do I'll put you with cousin it for now so they can stay there for the time being eventually I might need to bring up the umbrella the next thing I do also midday is just touch my a film and etc. mount here. It's dry, it's gonna get sprayed. My Eonopsis is still damp, but while I'm at it, I'm gonna spray that as well. It's windy enough. And these guys are still hanging out for a little bit longer before I do the swap. Also midday, I check my blooming alley, see how things are going here with all the breeze going on. Right now I'm in the blooming alley. I have 28 degrees uh, Celsius with 61% humidity, which is pretty good. Pretty good considering how strong the wind is. I'm okay with that. But uh, the Tolumnias could do with a little bit of moisture. So this would be the second time now that I'm giving them a little bit of something. I won't drench them, but I will not let them get to the point of being uber dry. So that will tide them over before late afternoon and then when we get into the night they'll be fine. Okay, so it's around 1 p.m. now and I'm just checking what's going on. My Vandacious totem pole is starting to be in the sun. Stan is still in the shade. The two Vandas are still in the shade. So we're still good for another hour here with Stan and the Vandas. Same time of day. Got the twinkle still in the shade. The Schomburkias now are enjoying some sun. Let's go check on Cousin It and what's going on on the other side where the top guns are. Okay, you can see how windy it is. That's fine. Big breeze. I may need to spray down again. I can't put up my umbrella today. It's too windy. But that is okay because the leaves aren't heating up. And that's the only important thing, that the leaves do not heat up. So that's what I'm checking approximately around 
1.30 p.m. And you can see how from all the drenching this morning, how they're drying out quite nicely. Plenty of air movement. So they've had their fertilizer and now they're drying out. Everything is okay before later this afternoon. And we check on them again. I've made a decision to pull the curtain up because it is windy enough. Everybody who gets direct sun now is probably for another hour only, but it is so breezy that all the foliage will not heat up. It's going to be fine. And I do want to see those vandacious orchids bloom one day, so a little bit of direct sun won't do them any harm. That's my calculation anyway. We shall see if it works. 3 p.m. and my banda tub is in the shade and I now have loose neary in here. Sorry about the wind. But normally loose neary gets totally submerged this time of year because anything stylus, I struggle with getting any roots. So loose neary now is medium submerged because there's a fantastic spike coming up there. And we'll be in here for another hour. And let's see what else has happened. Well, these two candidates are back up on their perch where they belong after their morning soak. And now I've brought the big vandas into the shade so they don't get too stressed by the sun because of all the blooming they've done all this year, they are extremely stressed and I don't need them in the full sun anymore. For the time being, this is the status quo at around 3 p.m in the world of ninja orchids and Stan has moved under the umbrella because now his morning area is in full sun for the rest of the day Stan remains under the umbrella 5 p.m. loose neary has had a two hour soak as opposed to the one hour normally it was extremely windy so I left him in there for a little longer and here I have now Louis Time for his bath in my little jacuzzi and based on how the roots are I lay them in here at this angle and then in a little while I will flip them around so that all the roots get a little bit of hydration and this is what it looks like in twinkle zone let's check the leaves they're fine they're absolutely fine I don't need to bring any of these onto the shelf. You can see a leaf here was a bit stressed. That's why I was putting it underneath the shelf. But everybody's leaves feel absolutely fine. There's a good little breeze going, which is great. Got to check on my Angraecums. Yep, that leaf is kind, quite hot. So is that. I'm going to have to move that into the shade, which is right here. Excuse the sun cream, but much needed at the moment. Um, yeah, so this is right now in full shade for the rest of the day. At least there I can, I hope I didn't catch it too late because when the leaves get hot, they don't like it. It can cause a burn. And Holger Glossom chilling out here. We'll get another little shower shortly. Here on the east side now, everything is in good shade. You can see my Siamese doll kiwi there. The bloom is going over, as is my striata, Vekhoiseri striata over there. They are now back in their allocated places, chilling out in the late afternoon. You can see now that's it with regards to heat for the day. Thank goodness the wind has abated, but it did pick up again last night at the same time at around 8 p.m which was not good. Just checking, this is what I do. This would be like my fourth visit to them. They're still, they're still okay, there's no need. I don't think I need to water them unless the wind picks up. I don't need to give them any kind of spray anymore today. Now, if it gets warmer again, as in dry wind, 31% humidity like yesterday, then they're gonna get a quick little humidity spray lovely jubbly another thing i look out for during my little stints walkabouts angle of the sun because one thing is that in the during the daytime 
it is right above me and this place is beautifully shaded but you can see as it gets later in the day the sun comes through little nooks and crannies which is fine but not if it's gonna be a problem for my leaves so this one I got in time it's still cool but those are the things now that I'm watching out late afternoon my Chantilly lace is fine cool leaves but I have to watch my tortile. I don't want to lose any of the roots. Some are going up, some are going in the pot, and I don't want them to dry them out. The tortile can take the sun, and I'm directing the growth to grow towards the light. That's why she is positioned the way she is. Now, late afternoon, that is what I am looking out for. We have flipped Louis. Give the other side a little bit of those roots. Give them a soak. It is now almost 7 p.m. It is time to get Siliano out so that he can rampage and demolish the interior of the property. And then quick feel, touch feel of a film. Throughout the day, I've already sprayed it twice. It needs a little bit more before I get Siliano out because I don't really want it soaking wet at night, not that it would matter much, but it's just for peace of mind. So I have about five minutes before all the animals go nuts because they know it's their time of day to just hydrate a film a little bit more. Meanwhile, this corner here with my Crestwood Tomorrow Star was sprayed about an hour and a half ago. Everything is dry again and they too shall get one more little douse before it's time to play with the zoo. 8.30 p.m. The zoo had a field trip with me, all fun and games, chasing an Australian gala around a room. But never mind, he had his fun. And you can hear him protesting in the background now. He's back in his cage. I'm just now doing a little double, triple checkup and taking care of something I might consider far too dry. Just little spot checks, which will help them through the night. 70% humidity. That is what we're dealing with at this point in time. And it's 28 degrees. So that's a big difference compared to yesterday. Same time yesterday. I had 31% humidity with 28 degrees. And the wind has subsided. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful calm evening. Let's take a little look around the front. Before we do that, I just want to give some relief to cousin it here just a little bit before bedtime will do him a world of good you see the bottom of cousin it's tray there on the orchid top that is empty and it was full to the brim plus I sprayed him from the top so full to the brim it would seep through the entire pot it would then fill up that whole saucer and it's empty. Thirsty, thirsty, cousin it. And here we are as to where we started this morning or maybe yesterday, depending on how you see the video. Denisoniana dark chocolate star is now back in the jacuzzi. One side and then I'll flip her over and get those other roots into the water and then she'll spend the night in here again. In the meantime, we're just gonna give these a little bit of a humidity boost just to help the ambiance a little bit for them. Because when you think about it, they have been sitting here. They've been hanging here now since about 2 p.m. And that is a long time when we've got temperatures like these. That's a pretty picture. 14 and a half hours later this morning we started off with one bloom just open we're about to have the evening with 
the second bloom opening up and I think tomorrow we will wake up with bloom number three. If they would make up their minds as to which direction they want to grow, that would be fabulous. Oh, this is a good picture as well. The two lips sticking out like that. Hmm, that is pretty. And that is it, a day in the life of ninja orchids. It is now 10 p.m. and it's time. And we have done everything that we could throughout the day in order to take care of these gorgeous, gorgeous creatures of nature. So, Thank you so much for joining me. It was quite fun grabbing the camera with every activity, almost every activity. I mean, how much spraying do you, can you watch in any given moment? But you get an idea, I think, and I hope that you felt like you were with me throughout the day because you actually were. And I want to say thank you for watching. I really appreciated your company today, all day, and I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye. Good night, Renanthera Citrina. Good night, Tulumnia Golden Fire. Good night, Epidendrum Parkinsonianum.